In this lecture, we are going to learn about another two very important operators in JavaScript and that is increment and decrement operator. Now, one of the common use cases in a programming language is incrementing or decrementing a number by one. And this is mostly used in loops, which we will learn in the coming lectures. But while developing an application, while writing some program, you will often come with this scenario where you might want to increment or decrement the value of a variable by one. And this is where the increment and decrement operator comes into picture. Let's try to understand them with an example. Here, let me go ahead and let me create a variable and I'll call it as counter and I'll assign it with the value zero. Now what I want is, I want to increment the value of this counter variable by one. So for that, I can simply say counter equals counter plus one or using this shorthand notation we can also write it as counter plus equals one so it is equivalent to counter equals counter plus one or what we can also do is we can write it as counter plus plus or we can also write it as plus plus counter okay so if I go ahead and if I log the value of counter now, you will see that the value of counter is logged as one. So basically this plus plus operator is called as increment operator and it increments the value of a variable by one. So if the variable is storing a numeric value, it is going to increment the value of that variable by one. And this counter plus plus that will also do the same thing so whether you use this plus plus after the variable name or before the variable name in both cases it is going to increment the value of the variable by one so if i save the changes the value of this counter should still be one in the same way let me change the value of this counter variable to 10 and just like increment operator we also have decrement operator so i can say counter minus minus and this is going to decrement the value stored in this counter variable by one so if i save the changes now you will see when we use this minus minus operator on this counter variable its value has decreased by one so now the new value which it is storing is nine same thing is true if i use minus minus counter so initial value is 10 if i say minus minus counter it is going to do the same thing so the value of counter it is decremented by one so now its value is 9. So the plus plus is the increment operator and minus minus is the decrement operator. The increment operator increments the value stored in a variable by 1. And the decrement operator decrements the value stored in a variable by 1. Now it is very important to understand that the increment and decrement variable it can only be applied on variables. For example, you can go ahead and you can say a equals 10 plus 20. This is possible. Here you are applying this plus operator on two numbers, two values. But if you try, let's say, let's create a variable b. And if you try to use the increment operator on a number, let's say 100, this is not going to work. So let me go ahead and let me try to log the value of b. And if I save the changes, you see we have an error basically you cannot use the increment or decrement operator on a value you can only use it on a variable this is very important to understand all right let me remove this code from here let's also remove this code all right now as we learned we can use increment or decrement operator after the variable name like we are doing here or we can also use it before the variable name like we are doing here so this is called as post decrement and this is called as pre decrement if i use increment operator here so this is post increment and here if i use increment operator this is pre increment now what is the difference between post increment decrement and pre increment decrement let's try to understand that for that i will remove these two from here and let's try to increment the value of this counter variable when we are logging it so here if i say plus plus 
counter here we want to increment the value of this counter variable by one and this is called as pre-increment because we are using it before the variable name now when you are using an increment or decrement operator before the variable name in that case that operator it will increment the variable value and then it will return it okay so in case of pre-increment or decrement what happens value is incremented or decremented and then returned so as we have learned every operator in javascript returns a value this pre and post increment and decrement operators also they are going to return a value now in case of pre increment or decrement the value will be first incremented or decremented and then the new value will be returned okay so in this case this pre increment operator it will increment the value of this counter variable current value is 10 it will increment it to 11 and that value will be returned so now here if i save the changes you will see 11 is logged but in case of post increment decrement first the value is returned so the current value will be returned and then its value will be incremented decremented okay so here what will happen is if i use this plus plus operator after the counter variable in that case first this operator will return the current value of the counter variable which is 10 and after returning it only it will increment its value so if i save the changes you will see that 10 is logged here and after returning the current value it will increment its value so if i go ahead and if i log this counter variable again without using this post increment operator so here this plus plus operator it returned the current value of this counter variable which is 10 that's what is logged here and then it has incremented its value by one so now after that line when i'm logging this counter variable it should log 11 because its new value is 11. so the pre-increment or decrement operator it first increments or decrements the value and then it returns the new value but in case of post increment or decrement first the current value will be returned by post increment and decrement operator and then the value of the variable will be incremented or decremented okay so here we saw the example with pre and post increment operator but same is true for pre and post decrement operator also for example here if i use minus minus this is pre decrement operator we are using it before the variable so in this case first this operator will decrement the value of this counter variable current value is 10 it will decrement it to 9 and then 9 will be returned by this operator so if i save the changes in both the cases it should log 9 as you can see but if i use post decrement operator here so if i use the decrement operator after the variable name in this case this operator will return the current value of this variable which is 10 so 10 will be returned and after that its value will be decremented so next time when we are logging the counter variable it should log 9 so if i save the changes at this line it should log 10 and at this line it should log 9 as you can see so i hope with these examples now you understand what is the difference between pre and post increment and decrement operator let me put a comment also so that you will remember it so counter plus plus it is post increment operator and plus plus counter so we are using it before the variable name so it is pre increment operator then counter minus minus it is post decrement operator and minus minus counter it is pre decrement operator okay now we also have a comma operator in javascript and comma operator is rarely used in javascript programming the comma operator is usually used to write some shorter code so for example let's say let's create a variable let's call it z and to this let's assign 1 plus 2 comma 3 plus 4 
So a comma operator allows programmers to evaluate several expressions separating them with a comma and each of them will be evaluated but only the result of the last one it will be returned and it will be assigned to the variable. In this example here we have two expression 1 plus 2 and 3 plus 4 and they are separated by comma. So here this comma is an operator and this operator it is going to evaluate all the expressions which it is separating and it is going to return the result of last expression. In this case it is going to return the result of this expression. So it is going to return 7 and that will be assigned to this variable z. So if we go ahead and if we log it in the console, if I save the changes, you will see 7 is logged here. So this comma operator here, it has returned the result of last expression in the expression list. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this comma operator, it is very rarely used in JavaScript programming. But I want you to know about this operator. I want you to know that this comma operator also exists in JavaScript. Finally, I also want to talk about one very important operator, which is type of. This type of, it is a unary operator and it is placed before a value or a variable. And what it does is it returns the data type of that value or that variable. So for example, let's write a console.log statement and there let's say type of 20. So in this case, this type of operator, as you can see, we are applying it on a single operand. So it is a unary operator and it is going to return the data type of this value 20. We know the data type of this value 20 is number. So if I save the changes, you can see it is returning number. If I use it on a string value, for example, hello, in that case, it should return string. As you can see, let's also use it on a Boolean value may be true. If I save the changes, it is returning true. If I use it on undefined, then we know the data type for undefined is undefined. So in that case, it should return undefined. And let's also try to use it on null. And let's see what is the data type for the value null. If I save the changes, you see the data type for this value null is object. But this is a bug in JavaScript because we have learned that the data type for this null value is null. So it should return null. But in this case, it is returning object. So this is a small bug which we have in JavaScript language. Otherwise, for other values, you see it is returning the correct data type. And here we are using this type of operator on values, but we can also use it on variables. So for example, if I use this type of operator on this counter variable, this counter variable, it is storing a value of number type. So it should return number in this case, as you can see. All right. So in this lecture, we learned about increment and decrement operator. We also briefly talked about comma operator and we learned about this type of operator. Now, this type of operator it is very important because we might need it in future for writing conditional statements. For example, let's say based on what type of data we have received from the UI, we want to execute some logic. So to check the data type of the value which we are receiving, we can use this type of operator. And in the same way, this increment and decrement operator also, we are going to use it a lot in our programs. So you need to remember about this increment and decrement operator also. All right, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.